person I'm looking for. I need some help. Sure, Jack. Anything I can do to help you. Eddie, we're not selling out our show. We need something new and exciting to grab people's attention. Don't you want my help? I've got showbiz savvy and horse sense. Oh, I don't need showbiz savvy for this one. I need some man in the street advice. Or rather, boy in the street. So what do you say, Eddie? What should we do? Well, I... Um... Look, everyone! See what I just bought? Isn't that great? Isn't it marvelous? Oh, it. Nice! Yeah, sure. Fine craftsmanship. What the heck is it? Oh, it's the cleverest thing! A combination toaster, radio, and boot polisher. Elizabeth, honey, you don't eat toast, you never listen to the radio, and you don't wear boots. Why would you buy such a thing? <laughs> when I saw the ad for it on TV, I just had to have one. TV ads always have that effect on me. Yes, of course. That's what we need. But you don't wear boots either, Jack. No, no, we need to make a television commercial. Fabulous! Stupendous! I don't know, Jack. Television commercials can be pretty expensive to make. Oh, that's only if you get a real TV crew. We can do it ourselves for cheap. All we need is a camera and a tripod. A television commercial? How ridiculous. I hope he doesn't expect us to be in oh, it. You don't want what to is it? it? Of course not. I'm a stage performer, and television is so undignified. Undignified? Well, then I won't be in it either. That summer, I hopped a freight train and went west to do summer stock. You hopped a freight train while it was moving? Well, not exactly. I had a ticket. Traveled first class all the way. Marvin, Eddie. I tell you, we're going to make television history. We're going to shoot the best commercial ever. Do me proud, kid. What? Uh, I thought we were going to make television history. Sure, sure, only uh, I'm kind of busy right now, so today we means you. But I don't know how to shoot a commercial. Marvin can help you. You'll be fine. Just shoot our thrilling rides, our fabulous food, our top-notch entertainment. And I'll uh, need it by six. Sounds easy enough. Sure, it'll be fun. Let's start with the rides. Okay. Jack on a camera, and Eddie and Marvin are making our TV commercial. Right now? Right this minute. Foolish business. You won't catch me in any silly commercial. Hmm, yes, me neither. Absolutely preposterous. I'm just going to powder my nose. Me too! You handsome devil. Now make sure everything Whoa, looks straight. this place is huge! The looks beach? Good. How do I look? <laughs> so, just hit the red button to shoot and hit it again to stop. This is easier than I thought. Well, if you've got the hang of it, is it okay if I go and practice my routine for the commercial? Sure, Marvin. I can handle this. What? Elizabeth, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just waiting for a turn on the Ferris wheel. I just love the Ferris wheel. The camera's not on. Oh! Well, just let me know where you want me to stand. You can keep standing right there. Eddie? Yoo-hoo! 
Daddy, dear. Which costume should I wear for the commercial? Red's showy, but blue's better for close-ups. You will want some close-ups, won't you, Eddie, dear? He's not interested in your wardrobe problems. Uh, look, Eddie. Tooth polish. Very nice, but I'm shooting the rides first. What do you want to start with? Should we do a sound check? Which one? Red or blue? Should I add sparkles? I just want to shoot the ride. It doesn't matter what you wear. I beg your pardon, it most certainly does. And you know, a costume might help your act out. That's ridiculous. Who ever heard of a man-eating tiger? In a yeah, we want to be friends with them. Uh, am I right, Eddie? Eddie? A television commercial? Oh, of all the cockamamie ideas. Remember how the others said they didn't want to be on TV? Well, as soon as I started shooting... Well, let me guess. They were falling over themselves to get into the act. Yeah. How did you know? Well, they're showbiz animals, Eddie. They just love to perform. Can't help themselves. They're born show-offs. Yeah, something like that. Well, they're not making my job any easier. Okay, Edna. Smile. Action. Oh, well, it doesn't look right without customers. Looks like nobody wants my lemon ice. I think you're right, Edna. We need some customers. Customers coming up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, no. oh. Hello there, ma'am. I'd like a lemon ice, the favorite snack of fearless tigers like myself. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Maybe we should shoot the entertainment part now. All right, everybody. Go set up your routines in the main tent. We'll be there in ten <gasps> minutes. Oh, hooray! <sighs> Showbiz. Eddie, look. I'm going to use my new parasol. Hey, Eddie, should I do the flaming hoop or the sparklers? Listen to my new song, Eddie. Come to our carnival, come on, come all. Come to our carnival, you'll have a ball. You'll see Marvin, the tap dancing horse, and all the other acts, of course. That's enough, you hammy horse. Okay, so I'm freaking out. Please, Stripes, wait your turn. Eddie, dear, how does this look? Not yet, Diamonds, one at a time. Oh, that is impressive. You can catch an umbrella. It is not an umbrella. It's a parasol. Here I come! Ta-da! No, 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 not yet, Elizabeth. Eddie, over here. Eddie, watch! Wait! Wait! One at a time! Oh, oh, no! Look out, everybody! Wow, what a pileup. Is everyone all right? Yes. Yes, I, I think so. <laughs> Looks like we're going to need another take, Eddie. Eddie? Where'd he go? What's going on? Eddie was just in my office saying he won't shoot the commercial. That doesn't sound like Eddie. So what happened? We were just doing our acts. And Eddie was filming. I thought it was going very well. Well, let's just take a look. Come to our carnival. Oh, look, carnival. it's you, Marvin. Come to our carnival. You'll have a ball. Does my nose really look that big? That's enough, you hammy horse. Now, this is more like it. Watch this. Please, Stripes, wait your turn. You weren't even listening to Eddie. Eddie, dear, how does this look? Not yet, Diamonds. One at a time. Oh, my. I wasn't the only one showing off. Ta-da! No, no, no. Not yet, Elizabeth. Oh, Eddie. I did it, too. Watch. One at a time. 
I think I know why Eddie walked off. We were so busy showing off for the camera. That we weren't listening to Eddie at all. Oh, the poor boy. We'd better go find him. There he is. Oh, Eddie. Oh, I love this trailer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Thank you, What's Captain Ama. We're sorry we were showing off and not listening to you. It was very unprofessional of us. Can you ever forgive us? Of course I forgive you. You're my friend. Besides, I know you can't help yourselves, being showbiz animals and all. Well, now that that's settled, let's get back to work and make the best TV commercial ever. No way. I told Jack he can do it himself. I've had it with the television business. You know, I don't blame you one little bit. Everyone, come quick. Jack's commercial is on TV. Oh, really? It's on? Uh, let's go see it. The thrills, the excitement, the drama. Come on down and spend a fun-filled day at my carnival. Fast Talk and Jack's the name, and carnivals are my game. We've got great food, fabulous rides, top-notch entertainment, and no clowns. Yes, sirree, you heard me right. Don't like clowns? Never have, never will. So come on down to my carnival and have a terrific time. Come on down, best show in town. Eat and drink, don't stop to think. Take a ride, I'll be your guide. At Fast Talking Jack's Carnival. Yeah! Well... <laughs> That was really, uh... It was quite... Awful! That was the worst commercial I've ever seen! It looks like Jack's a big show-off, too! And he didn't even show us! Don't take it personally, Elizabeth. When I was working in Hollywood, some of my very best scenes hit the cutting room floor. You worked in Hollywood? You bet I did! When it was time for my big scene, I acted my heart out. So, imagine my surprise when I see the finished picture and they've cut out my scene. Yokozuna! Mm -hmm. 